everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I just, uh, listen, we have some stuff to talk about. Quick intermission, I just want to thank the EA Creator Network for making this video possible by providing me with coats throughout the years so that I can continue making videos for you guys. And also, I have a creator coat with them. It is the Evelyn. Feel free to use it if you want to. That's about it. Let's get back to the video. So as you guys know, I have been having computer problems. Um, at least I think you guys would know. Some of you might have kept track of it or something. Um, or just remembered it from previous voiceovers because I've mentioned it quite a lot. I blue screen, or not me, but the computer blue screens quite often and stuff. So the plan is to have a send to repair in July because I'm going on vacation as well. So I figured it was kind of be like a perfect time to do that. So I don't, because I rely on it a lot to do videos and stuff and I don't want to like send it off for 10 days or however long it would take for it to be repaired and then go on vacation for 10 days. <laughs> Um, cause that's 20 days all of a sudden where I can't do anything. And so, um, that is the thing though. Uh, but yeah, the, the plan is to have a send off. So like I'm already, I'm working on a plan and it's been in the works for a little while. It just has to line up perfectly and stuff. Um, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge, I suppose. But unfortunately I have built, also mentioned actually, I think I've built like three houses or something that's not up on the channel yet. This being one of them. And um, the other day, I don't actually don't really know what happened. <laughs> I turned it on and started whatever program I started, and then it blue screened. And when I turned it on again, it said that my OneDrive file was corrupted, which in short, let me just shorten it for you guys a little bit, means that um, everything that was saved on the OneDrive is gone. And that means all my save files and all my trade files, they're gone, <laughs> including those builds that I have not finished yet. So I've actually had to rebuild this one and I have two 40 by 30s that I've not had time to rebuild yet, but that I will be rebuilding because I spend a lot of time on those two builds. I really want you guys to see them. So instead of just sitting down and building something new, I am going to sit down and rebuild something that is not new to me, but that'll be new to you though. Uh, but my gosh, I, I really heavily dislike <laughs> rebuilding my own stuff. It's so boring. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's like, it's uh it's a drag. Just sitting there building something that you've already worked on. Um, and also just want to, the reason that I'm saying this is because I have really done my best to rebuild it one-to-one, -one, but there may be a few changes here and there. So the footage that you see here, I have had on my hard drives, which means that it's been saved on the computer directly. But for some reason, save files and tray files are on the OneDrive or yeah, OneDrive. And um, so are mods. All my mods are gone. Like literally all of them, all the mods, they're, they're gone. <laughs> Um, I'm laughing because if I don't, it's just sad, you know? <laughs> but, uh, so just, just thought I'd let you guys know that, uh, it's a good, like, maybe just when you're done with builds, save them. Like, just tray files, make sure you have the tray files right away, take pictures, because one of the builds, is one of the 40 by 30s, I haven't actually taken pictures of it, so I'll be sitting here literally just going through my footage, rebuilding it while watching back my footage. It'll be so boring, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. We're just dealing with it. You know, that's, that's all I can do really, just working around the issues, um, but not how I expected to spend my weekend. Uh, so it is what it is, but um, just in case there's like a few differences between what you see in the videos and then I'll explain it again in the next two videos, um, just shortly, I suppose just to make sure that you guys know that they may not be like a one-to-one -one exact copy. Um, there may be a few things here and there that I've missed or a couple of items that aren't placed exactly like they are in the, in the video uh, or in the screenshots at the end as well, but I've done my best to redo everything. I know the shell itself is the exact same size and the layout as well is the exact same size. Um, so that means the floor plan and also the front yard and the backyard. Exact same size, same measurements, everything like that. But there may be a couple of plants here and there that are placed differently. There may be like the dining table is placed a little bit differently. You know, stuff like that. 
or if I have just missed an item because for some reason I've not taken a picture of one specific corner of a room and it was impossible to see on my floor plan picture. That might have happened as well. <laughs> I was actually getting a little bit with the with one of the wallpapers here for the exterior of the house. I could not remember for the life of me where I found it. So that was frustrating as well. I think I ended up taking like three hours to rebuild it, which is surprising, but at the same time also not. Maybe like three and a half, which I believe is just a lot. It's the same amount of time it's it's spent I spent building it. <laughs> so these two 40 by 30s, I will have to dedicate quite, quite some time to rebuilding them. I'm starting with one of them tonight so that hopefully it can be up tomorrow, but I cannot make any promises at this point. Um, so yeah, it, um, it, it just, we're, we just gotta work around it, you know? It is what it is sometimes. Things just don't go to plan. And um, I just really, I like the houses. It's rare that I build 40 by 30s as well, so I didn't want them to just go to waste, essentially. Also this house, I enjoyed building this house so, so much and I like how it turned out and I didn't want that to just go to waste and go build something else. I really wanted to share this house with you. So I decided to just, uh, as you would say in Danish, bite the sour apple. I, it doesn't make any sense, but that's what I did and just um, decided to redo it. <laughs> So, I hope you guys like the house, I really do, um, but the one that you see on the gallery and also uh, just tray files and everything might not be an exact copy of this one, but it's close. It's very close. So, this is also kind of motivating me too, because I've talked about this as well on the channel, that I struggle doing longer voiceovers these days. Um, as long as the voiceover is more than 20 minutes, I tell myself, well, you can do that tomorrow. And then the day after, I'm like, actually, I don't really feel like my head's in the right space today. Let's let's wait until tomorrow. Like, I keep pushing it. I have uh, performance anxiety issues, so it just I talk myself out of things all the time because of stuff. It's not laziness. It's genuinely just because I'm like, what do I even talk about for 20 minutes? Like, I don't know. Um, so, so, and someone once back in the day was like, well, you can just take notes and then follow them for the voiceover. It doesn't work like that for me. I can't do that. So unfortunately, no. Um, but yeah, so I, I think this is actually kind of help, helping me a little bit being like motivated, not motivating me because that still sounds like it's like an effort issue. Um, but at least giving me the last push to finish the videos so they don't get lost if I run into issues again before my computer send off to um, to repair. I'm so happy that I bought the three-year guarantee on it by the way so everything is covered like if anything needs replaced in the computer it's covered and I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> it's one of those things like I don't want to I don't have to spend money trying to repair my computer because that would suck. It's already so expensive. Computers are so, so expensive. So um, yeah, that that guarantee would definitely come in handy. Um, <laughs> but uh, just gotta like time it so that I can have a send in while I'm gone. I think they seem very helpful as well, which I'm very grateful for um, the last time I wrote them. So I'm sure we can figure something out, but um, Wish me good luck, like send good vibes or something. I desperately, I, I desperately need good vibes for this because it's for, it's actually as well, the whole like, um, like I depend a lot on my computer and for it to blue screen as much as it does, whenever I open Premiere Pro, I get like a knot in my stomach because I'm like, oh, but it's blue screen when, when opening Premiere Pro before. What if it does it again? And then I can't turn it on for like 30 minutes or something because it goes in like a blue screen cycle. I get so much anxiety from this computer stuff. It's horrible. So send good vibes, please. I really need them right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, it's been a it's been a big issue. It's been a little while. <laughs> it got better after I was gone from Italy or gone from Italy? That sounded weird. I went to Italy back in April and when I came back, it was better for a while. So I decided not to send it back to or send it to them. And then it's just gone really downhill within the past like couple of weeks. So um we'll get it fixed though. We just uh 
We just, we just gotta like fix it some, we gotta, we're gonna get it fixed. That, I feel like I just mumbled a little bit. It's fine. It's gonna get fixed. It's all good. Anyway, as for the house, now that we're 10 minutes into the voiceover, I just feel like I need to explain something, especially with the house not necessarily, I hate misrepresenting what the houses are in the video and then you download them and they don't look the exact same. So even though this is like minor differences, there will be minor differences, but they're minor, they're tiny differences. I just want to make sure that you guys know why, okay? Because um, I don't like mispresenting. Misrepresenting? You, you get what I mean. Um, the, the downloads and stuff. So just, I really needed to explain that to you. But for the house, I just wanted it to be like cozy, family, colorful, not necessarily everything looking perfect, although... <laughs> You know, like, everything is still kind of coordinated in some way. Using a lot of blues and oranges and yellows in this house, which is a nice contrast, at least between, like, blue and orange, blue and yellow. Um, or orange and yellow, a little bit too closely related. But I feel like they work well in this, like, three-color three, three color, color scheme. Uh, so that's what we're mainly using. And then making sure that they have the common area and then also over here in the corner they have like an activity room so there's a um there's a piano an by standing piano they also have a chair with a with a bag of like knitting or crochet i think it's a knitting one though and there's also a computer setup which does look a little bit like an office setup actually so i did add a few couple of items maybe one of them um one of the parents because it have room it has room for a pair of parents and then also I think it's a kid upstairs. We'll see it in a, in a second, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a kid. I've decorated that room twice now. <laughs> I can't remember. It's a kid, it's a kid, okay? <laughs> the room is like dark green and blue or something. It's definitely a kid. Um, so, and there's a dinosaur in there. <laughs> Just wanna, like, it's most definitely a kid. I'm not saying teens can't have dinosaurs in their bedrooms. You do you, do what you wanna do. Um, but I definitely decorated it for, for a kid, so, but my point is that maybe one of the parents for work does something that does require a little bit of working from home, so they have this little setup over here, but it doesn't necessarily, it's not like a home office situation, if you get what I mean. And then they have one of these like games tables, I don't really fully know what they are, but I hope I used it correctly and that they can play on it together, the whole family. Um, I, I don't recall ever having used to that item, and if I have, it's like five years ago. So, <laughs> I hope I used it correctly, but I could be wrong. Um, just adjust it or add chairs if that's needed. I did look, I did try to add chairs, and they weren't stepping onto the table, so I'm guessing that you don't need chairs to use it, but maybe I missed something, I don't fully know. Um, but yeah, they have that just to like be able to use it together because I thought that would be cute Like the parents playing with a kid or something like that So but yeah, it's what I would call not necessarily a home office but more like an activity room You can change it if you want to so if you download this house for a specific family in mind and Whatever items that I've put in there don't necessarily fit with your sims You can always just swap them out so they fit like, uh, take out the piano and add an easel if they are a painter instead of a musician, or if you just don't really want to listen to your sims learning how to play piano, you can always take it out and add something else in there instead, you know? Um, woodworking table, like, do whatever you want, but activity rooms, trying to get better at adding skill items, because at least with houses that are this size and not necessarily the smaller ones, this is built on a 30 by 20, um, tiny houses is a bit of an issue because they're so small, but for these, like, it's a two-story house, it's not necessarily like a small house, it's a medium-sized house, I would, I would say, maybe. Um, uh, so for these houses, we can, we can add an activities room, you know, an activity room, and add some skill living, leveling items in there and stuff like that. So your sims has stuff to do, or sims have stuff to do, because I know a lot of, uh, sims gameplays based off of their skills and stuff, like, I'm not completely poor- that I was about to say pointless. <laughs> I hope I'm not completely pointless, but I what I meant to say is uh, I hope I'm not completely clueless when it comes to gameplay and stuff. I have played The Sims before. It's just been a while. So I prefer like um, if I if I play play games, like I love building in The Sims. It's very creative and I love interior and architecture and stuff. I just 
like to experiment with what fits together and also trying to um, make adjustments to houses, real life houses, and build them in The Sims. It's like, it's almost therapeutic in a way. I don't know if that sounds weird, <laughs> but it's just cozy and like relaxing and stuff. Um, but as for gameplay, I, I am much more of like a fantasy games kind of girl, so I don't really do much Sims gameplay. I haven't for a very, very long time. I think the last time I played The Sims was like aside from an LP that I didn't finish, <laughs> let's, be, let's be real. It was probably like back in 2015 or something, so it's been a long time. Um, mostly it's just stuck to building, but I do have a grasp, of, like a, I would say. On, on how to play the game though and like what's needed and stuff so I'm just trying to get better at not forgetting you know the skill leveling leveling items for you guys also because it's been pointed out a couple of times uh, that you kind of do need home offices and stuff like that so just figure I would do a little bit better <laughs> at including skill leveling items but um, yeah, both uh, both bedrooms actually have their own personalized bathrooms, ensuite bathrooms, which is unusual for me because I'm European. That's not really a thing that many European houses have, and I feel like I can safely say that that counts for Europe and not just specific countries in Europe. I'm sure they do have ensuites in some places in some European countries, but like overall, a, a very wide generalization we don't necessarily have like a whole lot of bathrooms per houses um so i'm trying to you know do a little bit better for those of you who are americans and maybe used to more bathrooms in your houses <laughs> i'm only speaking from looking at floor plans and from being to my from visiting my um my uncle's house over there but maybe his house is also a bit of an exception i don't really know I don't actually really know. Although I do have, I, I have noticed though that there tends to be, from the floor plans that I look at, there tends to be um, a lot of bathrooms per houses and I keep getting told as well that it's annoying when they don't have a lot of bathrooms in the builds because um, apparently sims have to go to the bathroom all at the same time. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Could they not coordinate it better or something? I don't know. Um, so anyway, they have their en suites, no bathroom on the ground floor though. I just figured it'd be fine with two. Like, do they need do they need a third one? Do they really need a third one? <laughs> so, but yeah, this is the kids' bedroom, and um, I hope I did this right as well in the in the uploaded version. I think this might actually be the most, the closest to the original, which is maybe. Now that I'm thinking about, it, I'm like maybe not. Do you know how long it took? me to of course you don't because how would you know unless you're stalking me while I'm sitting at my PC um, but which I'm hoping none of you do also by the way all my login rewards are gone so those pillows right there not in the uploaded version <laughs> and I don't know if that's because the file that tracks which login rewards that you have I don't know if it's because that one is on the OneDrive or if it's because I had to repair the game because the whole electronic arts folder was gone and they had to recreate it and stuff so um but, but my login rewards are gone i just know the file attracts it is gone and i can't really get it back so i don't have the pillows which actually reminds me that i need to open the game to, well i'm gonna open the game anyway because i'm rebuilding the house so maybe hopefully i can still get the pillows before they're gone but like i don't know I don't know, I really like the pillows. I'm kind of sad about the pillows, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I want the pillows back, um, but I don't know if I'll get them back. <laughs> it's kind of making me not really like login rewards when you can just lose them like that. Like, I get it that it has to be tied or tied to a file, but I didn't do anything. Like I didn't uninstall my game or anything and I just lost, I just lost my login, re login rewards and I like pillows. I want my pillows. <laughs> I don't care about the rest of, I don't even rem remember. I think there was a trash can as well that I was pretty happy with and that one I had to change as well or swap out with another one in this build. But like aside from those two items, the pillows and also the trash can, I don't really care about the rest. It's fine. I just want the pillows <laughs> and the trash can. I liked those. So um, that's sad, sad times, sad face, all the sadness, it's fine. First world problems, I know, it's it's okay. 
but it was quite shocking when I opened it again because I hadn't expected it so um, but yeah those are gone so that was a little bit of a change I suppose from the uh, the video version to the uploaded version but um, anyway we are pretty much at the end of the video so we're just doing the backyard maybe a little bit of like adding lights here and there some minor adjustments here and there but that's pretty much about it so I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover if you guys like this build you can download it at least in a almost one-to-one -one version off the gallery my ID is AvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Avelyn or AvelynYT and as always the tray files can be downloaded as well you can find them over on my patreon which will be linked to in the description box as well as in the pinned comment where you can also find a link to my booktube channel so if you like to read feel free to go check it out but that is all I got for you guys today so I hope you all enjoyed it please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one bye bye for us. Oh, but Emily, you are the part of me I fear. It will kill me when you leave and close my door. Oh, Emily. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can't believe. It's already over Too late to talk and fix whatever's broken I always thought love like ours would last